Hey, my name is Tomasz Poszutek and this video is going to be quite short. So in this video I want to show you exactly how does the new but old process migration tool for soft automotive uh, processes from Win Automation to Power to My Desktop works. And uh, you might ask yourself, you might be asking yourself a question, why would I actually need to migrate my Win Automation process into Power to My Desktop since they're working fine? Well, there is a set of reasons for you to do so. First of all, if you do, if you want to lock your Win Automation processes, if you want to lock your Power to Make, I mean, your RPA processes, for example, using Center of Excellence Toolkit, then the Win Automation processes are considered as a kind of a black box. So uh, then there is no information in Dataverse that the uh, platform that the toolkit can access and so tell you how is your process being executed? How much time does it take for each action to be executed? What the body is actually doing step by step. To, to get this information, you actually need to log in to your virtual machine or where whereas your uh, Win Automation is installed and simply go into logs into Win Automation uh, software. That is not a very good approach since you might have your uh, bots running in an unattended mode and then you never know when you're actually able to log into that machine and review logs. Uh, without interrupting those unattended runs. So that's the first thing. The second one is that when you do have your process migrated from Win Automation to Power to My Desktop, then all the information from the run, from, from each run, from each instance, is being stored in Dataverse. And there is a cool logging uh, solution, the, the monitor functionality in Power to My Portal, that gives you all the information on how your process is being executed, like how much time does it take uh, with the detailed information about each action with inputs and outputs for each action with screenshots for most of the actions and also with this detailed logging and error information if it fails so you'll have just a single place to both review how your cloud flows and desktop flows are performing and well if they're, um, if they're erroring then what is this what, what is the reason so basically if you think of having a really well performing desktop flows environment, then I highly encourage you to do this migration as then all this information from your instances of desktop flow uh, will be stored in Dataverse and you will just have a single place to review all the information about both cloud flows, desktop flows, uh, without really a need to enter the beautiful machine where the flows are being executed. So without this um, you know, opportunity or possibility to disturb uh, the bot in their operations. So I acknowledge it quite recently, although this tool is uh, available in the preview version since December 2020. And its usage is quite simple. So first go to the URL that is um, in the description below the video and download it, install it on the machine where you have Win Automation installed. And then once it is installed, simply open it, then sign in with your account And now, once you do sign in with your account, remember to use the account which you do have uh, Power Automate attended RPA license. Then the next step you have to do is actually to provide this master key that you have defined when you, uh, when you are installing your Win Automation. Now, if you're not, if you don't remember it, um, what you will lose only are those actions which are actually using the password so that the Win Automation migrate, migration tool will not be able to uh, decipher them and migrate them to part of my desktop. Well, I likely remember my password. And so the next step you have to do is actually to select the process or processes that you want to migrate that it's really easy and takes only a few seconds. So um, I will now migrate the process I have here in the vendor groups. So I'll migrate the process, which is quite large, that, that its purpose is to um, create or update information about the vendor master data in SAP. Then the next thing you have to do is to select the environment where you want to, when you want to migrate it and simply hit to start the migration. Oh, one last thing is if you do have this process in WinAutomation protected by password so that 
no one who, I mean, anyone who doesn't know the password to open the process in a designer can do it. Therefore, uh, I mean, then you also need to provide this password here. So the password, and now it is being migrated, but you'll be surprised, like this process I have here uh, contains like uh, 10 sub processes and has hundreds of actions. And so I thought that its migration will take like long, long minutes. But to my biggest surprise, it only took like not even a full minute. It was just a couple of seconds. And now what you can see here is that this process has been migrated. It is also, I mean, there is also information that it's been migrated with issues. Now this is the new name that it is, uh, that it has been given uh, in the, Power Automate uh, desktop application. So once it was migrated to Dataverse, now that's the that's the name it is uh, having. All right. So the next step I need to do is to simply go to Power Automate desktop application to open it. And now once it loads, there should be this new process that just has been migrated. And uh, I believe it is that one, right? So you can see this is the the process that has been migrated. So now I simply need to go into edit mode. And now when you open this process that has just been migrated, you will notice a few things. First of all, some of the actions which are not supported, the full list is also in the documentation that you can find the link down in the description of the video. So there is still a set of actions, a set of um, uh, operations which is not supported yet in Power to My Desktop and therefore they are not migratable. So like for example, I'm not able to read command line arguments in Power to My Desktop. Um, the names of the functions are changed. Like if they contain spaces, those spaces are replaced with underscores. No actions uh, like log to history are migratable. And so for every action where I had this information to store something in a, like to, to log message, like all these actions which were not migratable, you will notice that they were just simply turned into a comment. So they are present in your flow. However, they were replaced with a comment so that your flow is still valid, although it won't be executed. And so after you do the migration, you simply need to go and review all the errors that uh, the Power Automate desktop version of your flow owns, because there can be many of them, like uh, because of the variables, because of the missing selector, or you know because of the missing uh, action, which outputs were then used by another action. So simply be uh, calm and you know patiently just review all those issues. And then once you're free of errors, try to run it. So see if it works. All right, and that's it basically. I keep my fingers crossed for you to experiment with all your Win Automation processes to migrate them to Power to My Desktop. So don't hesitate and try migration today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, write them below in comments and as well, subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Thanks.